Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're playing Dragon Ball Fusions. Why? Because you guys have been on my back to give this a go. So, I went out today, I got this, and here we are playing it. It's the first time I've ever played it. Apparently, it only came out over here last month. So, I'm pretty intrigued to see what this game is like. The only really Dragon Ball games I've played is the older stuff, to be honest. Having something new is pretty cool. So anyway, we're emanating this. We're using the 3DS emulator, which is Citra. And we're using the official build, um, the Bleeding Edge version. And if you want to know how to set it all up, get it working to how I'm using it now, then there's a link to my guide in the description down below. I'm controlling this with my Xbox One S pad. So hopefully, we can get stuck straight into this and see how this rolls. Got no idea. I don't even know what kind of game type it is. This is so exciting. First time I've played this version of Dragon Ball Z. Is that even that? It's Dragon Ball Fusions. Okay, what have we got here? Adventure mode. Let's go. Let's go on a, a crazy adventure. So, so far, in the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see, we are running at 60 frames per second. I've got fraps enabled. Not to record or anything, I just use it so I can get the frame count and it's easy to see. Bottom left hand corner, bottom right hand corner, as you can see the actual game speed is 100% obviously, but the game frames per second is 30 frames per second. So there is a discrepancy which means that the emulator is probably running some buffer stuff going on, but we'll see how it goes. The most important thing here now is the game speed being 100%. Now, before we start doing anything, in fact, let's have a look at what I've got set up um, and my graphics. So, we're running at a pretty high def, but as you can see right now, we have got some pixelation going on. We are in the menu at the moment, though, so we're not going to judge it. Let's get into a game. I don't even... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Why did Nintendo put the A and the B button the wrong way around? Maybe mail, of course. Whatever, start, okay. I'm gonna be called Citra today. Yay. Yes. Okay then, so like I said, I'm using the official build. It's the one that's just been released today, to be honest. It's updated all the time. Each time you load this version of Citra, it updates itself, which is exceptional. Anyway. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not too interested in the storyline. I just want to get into actual gameplay and see how this runs. Okay. So, bottom left-hand corner, we are looking at 52, 51 frames per second. And the actual game speed, we're running 88%. So, it is doable. Got me a round circle. How cool is that? Any wish, eh? <laughs> it is funny though, Dragon Ball, isn't it? Uh, it's one of them things that I can just chill out to. Anyway, we do not fuss about all this stuff. I just want to get through and see how this game is performing. Come on, Dragon Ball, stop teasing me with your temptress ways. You sit on a throne of fun, and I want to sit there forever. Jesus, we've unleashed the fury out of that ball. Okay, so again, we're going back up to 60, but we are kind of mixing this up with... Okay, come on. Menu stroke real time footage. So, excuse me, guys, for slipping through all this stuff. We know how fast it's going. I don't want to spoil anybody's day in terms of storyline who hasn't actually played this yet. If this plays well, though, I'm going to get into this. This looks fun. Okay, so we're back up to the 60s and we're back up to 100%. This is actually being rendered, from what I can tell. It's not full motion video, it's actually rendering because I can tell by the resolution. We have got the outlines on the characters again. It's kind of Pokemon-ish, isn't it? I wonder if there's a hack to get rid of that. We can change the emulator or we can use some hacks in the actual game. 
Interesting. If anybody's got any further information about all that, put them in the comments down below. Be interesting to see. So now we're seeing the open world environment. We're hitting 91% game speed, 53. Music sounding fine. Visuals looking good. We are getting drops in frame rate. But it's not really noticeable. Still fully playable at this point, I would consider. Once we settle down into the game, I will have a look through the configuration. See if we can make any tweaks that could speed it up, slow it down. If we can bring it to its knees and what impacts we've got. This is cool, isn't it? This is really good. <laughs> I'm liking this game. This is pretty damn good. Okay, I'm following Pinch. Let's go, Pinch. This is cool. It's a pretty open world. I didn't think Dragon Ball Z would be able to do this kind of magic. Anyway, before we start getting involved in all this, I would want to mess around with the configuration. See if we can get any speed ups, see if we can get any slowdowns. So first off, let me show you what I'm running. Um, everything is set to stock manual at this moment in time. System wise, it's just got my details in there. It doesn't make any impact whatsoever on the emulator itself. Input wise, as I've talked about in my tutorial, I'm using an Xbox One S pad. They can't be configured within the actual uh, emulator menu itself. However, it can be enabled through the emulator. More information about that in my guide. Links in the description down below. In terms of the impacts here, we are going for the. Um, Resolution that's what's gonna mess things up more than anything So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this down to its native resolution of what the 3ds would be running at to see if we can get any speed up here and here Okay, let's do it Okay, we have seen speed up we are at 60 frames per second That is good guys. That is good visuals have obviously dropped but now, maybe we could find the middle ground. I'm liking this. I don't know what it is with the most recent builds of Citra, but resolution is playing more of an impact on these. I may have to go back to some of the older games to see if it's true, if it is. Because beforehand, it wasn't really much of an impact other than if your graphics card could handle it. In terms of game speed, you wasn't really getting major hits but now you do so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn up to 480 see if i can still maintain 60 frames per second okay so i have impacted it a little bit i would say it's still good visually it's looking a lot better still fully playable but what i'm going to do is just to get the stability right i am going to drop it down to 240 native res I'd rather play it at full speed and see how far we can take this for the moment. So we're going to drop it down to 240. Okay. Hopefully that'll bring us back up to 60. 100%. 29 to 30 frames per second. Loving it. This is good. Let's hustle. Okay. Where are we going now, fella? We ride north to Mordor. Where's he gone? There he is. Following you, mate. <laughs> I'm liking this game. Why did I not know that this was out here? Why am I only got this now? Okay, okay. Where am I locking on to? Where is he? So, why to lock on? Oh, there we go. I forget the controller is completely different from the Xbox One pad. Yes. This is a pretty big world, isn't it? So 
So, eight to talk. Come on in. Tell me about your trepid tales. Again, I want to skip as much as this as possible. Right, so where are we off to now? Am I going in there? A to enter. Yes. Don't question me, game. Get me inside. So, so far, this is good performance all round. I would say fully playable and pretty damn enjoyable. I'm liking this game. In fact, I'm liking it so much that when this video ends, I'm going to get caught up in the world of Dragon Ball Fusion. Okay, come on. <laughs> so we are looking pixelated. That's the only drawback at this point. I mean, what would happen if we didn't brought it back up to 4K? Graphics. Let's just see what it looks like. So we're going to go 2160p. I'm expecting huge frame drops, but I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, so now we're inside. We're not seeing big frame drops. We are hampered, though, by the outline on the characters. It's Pokemon thing going on. There must be a way to hack into it like the Pokemon games, though. But for now, we'll keep it all as stock. Hopefully in future videos, we might go into that. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to have a look. Where is this place? Okay, skip, 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 skip. Let's get back out in the open world, see how 4K impacts this game on this version of this emulator. Jesus, these guys can talk more than me. Come on. <laughs> it's just, I, obviously I'm reading it, but it looks like complete random. Oh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I've got past the tutorial stage. Right, am I now free to go? Okay. Of course, go outside. I'm gonna find some dudes. Okay. Ah, I keep pressing the button. Okay. We're outside now. We're still at 4K. This is really bringing it to its knees as well. Normally, putting the resolution up to a... Well, this kind of resolution would have an impact on my GPU instead of my CPU. However, my GPU is pretty beefy and I think it would be able to handle... 4k even in this open world environment pretty damn easily so there must be something else going on that's tying some of the work to the cpu hmm maybe this is how we're getting quite a lot of the game speeds that we're seeing recently i don't know that's the thing you know this is the bleeding edge builds we live on the edge we get things like this he takes with one hand and he gives with the other okay so we're gonna bring it down because it's too slow. Music's doing my head in. We're going to bring it down to 480. That's giving us back our 60. Okay. We'll see if we can maintain this as long as we can. We'll at least go to the next stage. And to be honest, at that point, I think I'm going to be classifying this as working game. Obviously, only up to the stage where I've got up to. There could be crashes and all kinds later on. But for me, this is looking pretty damn stable. It's exciting though, isn't it? <laughs> I love Dragon Ball Z. Okay, again. Ah, so we might get into a fight here, which is cool. Okay, so we're fighting. This is a new... Well, bit of the game engine, I suppose. We'll see how it impacts on the emulator. This is so exciting in so many different ways. Come on. Skate on. I've no idea what I'm pressing. I oh, so it's a turn-based one, this, is it? Ah. 
It's like Pokemon, but Dragon Ball. Jesus. I'll defeat this, this formidable foe and then we'll take it from there, right? Yeah. Let me go for a key blast. Good. Whooped his ass. I'll pick him up off the floor, though. <laughs> oh, so he wouldn't me. What was that? What happened? Did I take all my own energy out by trying to defeat him, did I? No, oh, never mind. Anyway, we did prove that at the end of the day, this is more than capable of running this game. At least up to this stage where I've tested it. And to be honest, we've had a fight, we've done the tutorial, been in the open world. For me, seal of approval, boom, straight on this. Not only in the way the emulator is working, but also the game itself. This is awesome. Right, what I'm going to do now, guys, is leave you to it. Because I'm going to rewind this and go back to the very beginning and play this as it was intended. Because this looks like a good game indeed. And I want to get my money's worth out of it because it's awesome. Anyway, it's been a pleasure as always bringing this to you guys. Please like, put in the comments down below what other games, what other videos, what other emulators, what other anything you want me to cover. Please like though, please subscribe, please do all the things that people do on YouTube. Including, well, play games for the first time. This is awesome. But most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Laters!